Hi, this is Lauren from LSP Actions and welcome to video one for the LSP Cake Smash Cutie Photoshop Action Set. In this video, I'm going to show you how to unzip, extract and install your Photoshop Actions into Photoshop CC, uh, CS5, CS6 and also into Photoshop Elements. If you already know how to install and get started with the LSP Actions, you can skip straight ahead to video two where I show you exactly how to edit with this set and some good top tips in there. So the first thing you need to do is download the LSP Cake Smash Cutie file from the account on the LSP website or from the link in your email after purchase. Upon download you'll notice this is a zip file, this is a compressed zipped folder. A zip file makes for a faster download and means everything is in one place. But in order to access this file, first of all you're going to need to extract or unzip it. On a Windows computer, you can right click and choose Extract All. And if you're on a Mac, you can use the Archive Utility option to get inside. Any problems? Simply hop onto Google with your operating system and search how to unzip the downloaded file and you'll find out exactly how to do this. Open up the file and inside you will see the LSP Cake Smash QT Photoshop Actions and you'll also see the bonuses. You will also see this video tutorial too, but I'm recording it right now, so in a parallel universe, this will be inside, but it's not quite there yet, but it will be on your version. So open up this folder here called the LSP Cake Smash QT Photoshop Actions. If you open up the bonuses, you will see inside the Lightroom presets and the guide. So come back here to the main one, open up the Photoshop Actions, and you'll see there's three folders here now. You have the actions for Photoshop Creative Cloud, which is the version I'm using, Photoshop CS5 to CS6, so if you're on an older version of Photoshop and you don't use Creative Cloud, you're going to need to install this version in exactly the same way I'm going to show you in just a moment. If you use Photoshop Elements, you will need to open this folder here, and I'm going to show you in just a moment how to install into Elements. So open up the folder, and you will see the ATN file here. This is the Photoshop Action file. You can drag and drop this into Photoshop. You can double-click it. Either way, it will come into your Actions panel. If you get this notice come up, one or more shortcuts in the Cake Smash Cutie set will hide many key shortcuts, remove the conflicting action shortcuts, hit no, because inside you have the LSP Select and Fix action, and this also runs on a shortcut. If you hit yes, don't worry too much, you can reset that, but the, like, kind of the best thing, if you would like to use a shortcut, hit no. The next step is to actually load your action panel up so you can see it. You may have this little play icon here, you can click to view your actions. If you don't see this, you can come up to Window and choose Actions to make your actions show. Your actions may be in coloured mode or they may be in grey mode like this. I like to pull the actions in here until um, the blue line appears and they snap into place alongside your Layers panel. You also need to be able to see your Layers panel here. If you can't see this, come up to Windows and choose layers. Your Cake Smash Cutie Photoshop Actions will appear here right at the very bottom and you can open this folder to view what's inside and you can close it too. You can close action folders to keep things nice and neat. Now I'm going to grab this and drag it all the way to the top. I like to do this with whichever set we're working with. To see the actions in coloured mode, you need to come up here to this little kind of burger menu and choose button mode. This is only for Photoshop, uh, full Photoshop versions, you do not have button mode on elements. And here you can see the coloured one click tabs. If they look all over the place like this, simply grab the action panel and pull it in until it snaps into a nice neat column. And then you can see all the actions in one click workflow order. If you load your actions up straight away at the bottom of the panel and you're already on bottom mode, you can simply click off this to arrange your panel to drag them to the top as we just did. Now I'm going to show you how to install your actions into Photoshop Element. You'll need to open the photo editor up and follow the same steps in the beginning to unzip and extract the files. If you can't see your action panel in the Elements, come up here to Window and click Actions. You also need to be able to see your Layers panel, so again, Window, Layers, if you cannot see this. Come up 
appear to the little menu at the top and click Load Actions. Locate the unzipped files and open up the LSP Kegsmash QT Photoshop Action folder. And then you need to open the Photoshop Elements folder and you will see the actions here for elements. If you load in the Creative Cloud or the CS versions of the actions, they won't work properly in Elements because Elements works in a slightly different way, so I've adapted the set for you here. And hit Load. You will see the LSP Cake Smash Cutie actions appear at the bottom of your Elements um, action panel. And you can simply hit Down and notice everything inside. But you can open these up at the bottom and scroll down. Elements does not have button mode, so to play an action in Elements, you need to click on the action and hit the play icon up here. So you can simply click these and play them out. You also have instructions here that pop up as a little instruction box if you want to see these. So I'm going to hop back over to the main version of Photoshop, but everything else applies exactly the same in Elements. You just use them in a slightly, slightly different way. Look at this gorgeous image by Kristin at Kato Sin Photography. Absolutely beautiful. Now for the full editing videos, you can watch at video 2, which is how to edit with this Cake Smash Cutie set. There's a complete overview edit. You can watch video 3, which is how to fix the background um, and some advanced editing there. You can watch video 4 for changing colours. For example, if you want to change the colour of the cake to match the decor, you can watch video 4 for that one. Video 5, you can check out the bonus video for how to batch actions across multiple images in Photoshop. And you can check out how to use the bonus Lightroom pre-edit presets in video 6. So I'm just going to give you a talk through what's included in this set. So first of all, at the top here, you have some information. You can click on these instructions, for example, what are layer masks, how to batch actions, these are handy reminders, and how to use this action set here. The action set um, is in editing workflow order, so it's a really good idea to start at the top and work your way down. All of the LSP actions are either sliders, which means they affect the whole image and you can slide the opacity up or down to change the effect to suit your image, or brushes, which is a black layer mask, you simply use a white brush to paint the effect on. This is great for fixing the skin, brightening the eyes, sharpening areas and things like that. The actions are non-destructive, they will not affect your original layer, you can play them out, change them, you can open them up, tweak them, they are fully editable, and they will not be destructive to your image at all. I do recommend flattening regularly so the actions don't confuse each other and get mixed up, and you can find mini snapshot and flatten actions here which you can use throughout your edit. You have an option here to convert to sRGB. This is the best colour space for client images, so if your photo is in uh, Profoto RGB or perhaps Adobe RGB, you can use this um, to convert. If in doubt, you can click this one at any point in your edit and this will convert over. You can also click here to work in 16-bit as well to make sure you're editing at the highest quality. The first editing section here is the Instant Image Fixes. You have the Instant, Mini Magic Base, and the Enhanced Tones Balance Base. So you can click these. Of course, this is not the full editing tutorial. You can see that in video 2. I'm just showing you how these work. And this will play out over the whole base. This is a slider. You see the white box here. You can come up to opacity and change this. Just adds that extra balance. And then you have these individual um, balancing actions here. You have an exposure section. So you can fix an underexposed, fix an overexposed image, brighten up all over or darken all over. You can simply click these once and they play out. You can turn them on or off here. You can change the opacity again. You can make them stronger or lighter. The next section is your white balance. Now this image here has perfect white balance, but if you didn't quite nail the white balance in camera, you have an instant fix for the white balance for Creative Cloud. You can cool it, warm it. You can fix yellow, blue, purple, or green white balance in just one click. The next step is your contrast. Your contrast is the balance between the shadows and the highlights. So if your image looks a little flat, you can use Contrast Savvy. If it looks a little too, like the highlights are really blown and the shadows are really dark, you can use Calmer Contrast. So this area here, you won't necessarily use every single action here. These are different for different images, so you can simply click through these until you're happy. Um, with the balance of your image. 
The next section are the Skin Retouch brushes. So for these, you need a white brush set to normal, 100% opacity and 25% flow. Get those settings in now and you won't have to change them. You have the Smashing Skin Multi Base which sets up a multitude of layers for you. Let me just play that one out using several of these actions that I'm here. This one is a really great place to start because it just sets up all the layers for you. Where well, you can remove blemishes, you can fix any blotchy, uneven skin. This is very different to newborn editing. You'll notice if you shoot newborns, toddlers um, and one-year-olds, they generally have beautiful skin, but they do come with their very own set of problems, such as little grazes and scratches. They can have red patches of dry skin, which is very different to newborn skin. So these do work in different ways to newborn actions. Brighten up the face, you have some extra brighten, and you can fix any shine and blown whites here. You simply click these and brush on. If the effect is too strong, again just change the opacity until you are happy. With the multi base, you see here, each one of these has a black layer mask next to it. Each one is a brush. You can start at the very bottom with remove the blemishes, fixing the blotchy skin. Let me just zoom in to show you again for the complete editing video, you can watch video 2. Now this little one has pretty much perfect skin, barely any blotches um, or flakes, but there are a few here. So you can simply brush this over like this to remove these areas and add some skin texture in. And so on. For example, sharpen up, you just simply click the black layer mask, eyelashes and keep its bow, baby bright eyes, you literally just click the black layer masks and paint this onto your image where required. Gentle redness remover, sorry that noise on my keyboard is me making the brush bigger or smaller, you can press the bracket keys like this to make the brush big, or come down and make it smoother. Yellow vanish, if you have any yellow in the shadows or on the skin, you can paint that on and so on. You have more enhanced brushes here. Cutie silky soft skin which is beautiful. Cheeks and lips all the time. You have cheeks and lips, pick your own. Which comes up with a little instruction box. You can simply sample the cheek there and paint this on to add some natural rouge to the cheeks. Define the lashes, baby your bright eyes and sharpen up. And then you have tone corrections. A red, just don't be a gentle red remover and a stubborn red to be gone really good if you have some bad red patches on the skin. You have sad, sad eyes and red nose be gone. That's if baby has been crying, which quite often they do in the shoot, they can be left with a little red nose and some redness around the eyes. And this action is tailored specifically for those very sad um, little red nose and eyes there. Orange nose wipe, if baby has been eating um, orange food, for example, you may find there's this orange staining around the face here. You can use that. Banish the yellows, purple feet, and then you have skin toners, almond, apricot, peach, and mocha. So for this little baby, I'd say an apricot skin toner. And you can simply paint this over the skin. Just if the skin is looking a little grey or dull, and you just want to boost that up in place. I'll take it and put the yellow off here. And then we come into the advanced fix section. For the advanced fix tutorial, you can watch um, video three, uh, which which helps you with fixing backgrounds, extending backdrops, um, sorting out any kind of distractions in the scene, smoothing backdrops, blurring backgrounds, all of those kind of things are here. Um, there's a nice little treasure trove for advanced fixing there, um, little magic actions, and you can watch video three and see how they work. Nice section here for the colour changes. This is really great if you, for example, um, have a blue scene or a pink scene, and the cake doesn't quite match the scene. It happens sometimes to all of us. So you can use these here. You can either choose your own colour to change a colour in your image, or you can turn, turn, for example, make the pinks peachier, the oranges yellower, the blues greener, just to match everything in. And you can watch year four for exactly how to do these and some really good tips with working with those. And then to finish off here, you have the overlay section. You can play these and they will affect your whole image They come straight over the top and they give you a nice finishing overlay, which you can also change the opacity of up here. 
Some of these are really fun. For example, ice cream. Not so much for this shot, but if you have a rainbow balloon garland, if you're using bright colours like that, ice cream puts a beautiful rainbow um, hue over your image there. And you can turn these on or off, change the opacity, or drag them down to trash if you don't want to use them anymore. And then you have the black and white section. Now sometimes black and white can be a little bit nerve-wracking because you don't want to accidentally save over your original edited image in black and white. So you can play the black and whites and what they will do is open a new version of your image at the top here so you have a separate black and white version to save. So you have your original and a black and white version here. Again, you can find more about using those in video 2. And then you have a one-click final finish. You can sharpen up all over quick injection of contrast in, a gentle matte if you prefer that smoother look, or add a mini vignette. For example, there's that gentle matte here just to show you. And at any point you can turn everything on or off. And the same goes for Photoshop elements and older versions of Photoshop CS5 and CS6. So that was how to install um, and get up and running with the LSP Cake Smash Cutie Photoshop Action Set for Photoshop. You can watch video 2 for an, an in-depth how to edit exactly with this set. You can watch video 3 to learn more about fixing backgrounds and advanced editing techniques. You can watch video 4 how to change the colours, for example changing the bunting or the cake or clothing or anything like that for a uniformed look in your setup. You can watch video 5 and a bonus video where I show you how you can batch with um, actions over open images in Photoshop for a consistent look, editing in groups of five or so. And you can watch video 6 which shows you the Lightroom pre-edit, how I organise and port and edit in Lightroom using the LSP Cake Smash Cutie bonus Lightroom um, presets which you've got within your download.